Shalom. I've been doing more research and just waiting on Abba the, to, you know, give me the okay to release things. And um, I know it's it's just what times we're in, right? Um, so let me get out here and do some connecting here. And this was an excellent article. Um, so I wanted to overlay some information in between their paragraphs for connections for the time that we're in. So I just pray that you'll be ready. Um, repent, repent, repent for the kingdom. Love is coming down. You know, this is a very angry woman. <laughs> and so... I'm going to leave the links so you can go read through all this, you know, if you like. So, if you're going to separate kids at the border, I'm going to kill his kids. Don't try to find me because you won't. It's an ironic twist of fate that he would be worried about the children of a little alien since he volunteered at a local Planned Parenthood for much of his, much of his time. And this is uh, a man from Florida trying to get the House of Representative. And then last week, this lady called for leftists to get out and create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them that they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. She claims she did not urge them to do violence. But does any, anybody doubt she is, in fact was? So when you have the college professor, the muscle someone she disagreed with, such as the modern democratic and liberal party, where violence trumps dialogue, where calls for the heads of politicians and their kin are more than just words or threats, and violence of liberalism goes back centuries. Um, anyone remember suspecting a loyalist or even actively supporting the revolution were sentenced to death. And then this Maximilian terror is nothing more than speedy, severe, and inflexible justice. And then the article talks about and the reign of terror continued other left-leaning countries, the Soviet Union, um, the dictatorship of the, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bergeries, was directly responsible for millions of deaths all for counter-revolutionary activities, um, which included anything from criticizing the state to worshiping an unsanctioned god, little G-O-D, which was them all in an atheistic society. There is no god except the state. And Joseph Stalin, of course, personally saw to the great purge, killing his own officials and about a million others deemed undesirable. Or basket of deplorables, right? Um, and then, of course, Lenin was first, gave rise to Stalin. But talking about this connection that this article has from also the Bolshevik party. And Bolshevik means one of the majority. And that talks about the Red Army and leadership. And this is the tail end of what started in 1917. And then it's times of Yezhov or doings. And I thought that was interesting because I was looking up some things because I'd never heard of this person before. Time. Occasion. The times of. So we're in some amazing times. And you can look at see what these words mean. Um, so refined or accomplished. So it also means is a conquistador who defeated the Aztecs and conquered Mexico. So defending or conquering? Hmm, maybe both, depending on uh, your perspective. So then what started in uh, 1917, um, the timeline of Russian Soviet history, 1914 actually, to 1939. You know, and this is about... So many lost their lives, just so many people, and just regular soldiers and people lost their lives in all these wars. You know, this is not a, you know, a condemnation of this 
of all these things. It's just looking at these patterns for this day and this time we're living in and you getting to make a decision. So, let's see if I can get this to come up. Oh, yeah. Bending to riots by women, striking workers, and defecting soldiers, Tsar Nicholas abdicates, thereby ending the Romanov dynasty. It's the February Revolution. So, I want to rem just remember that's the February Revolution. Um, but when Russia's year revolution began in the bitterly cold February of 1917, many revolutionaries did not at first pay much attention. Hmm, that sounds like now. July days were tumultuous days that initially began as peaceful, dem peaceful demonstration in Petrograd against the provisional government headed by Prince Lov. Workers and soldiers took to the streets on July 3, 1917, but on July 4, violence broke out. I also want to remind, on July 4, is also there was a changing of the guard with this Russian imperial family, and, uh, and they, they changed, um, and then what happened on, after midnight, um, they executed their entire family. I just thought it would take note of the time in, you know, is there been in the chain guard powders are in repeating I would say so <laughs> um, and it was the red against the white and why the red army was more effective is because the network of political commissures devout Bolsheviks who offered political guidance to the red army and who watched over the loyalty of 50,000 Imperial Army officers to help command their forces. He also used terror ruthlessly. And it talks about Lenin and what he saying, uh, fleas and bugs and that kind of stuff. But look what this said from August 18, 1919. This sounds very similar. We reject the old morality and humanity invented in order to oppress and exploit the lower classes, our morality does not have a precedent. Our humanity is absolute because it rests on a new ideal. To destroy any form of oppression and violence, to us, everything is permitted because we are the very first to raise our swords not to oppress and enslave, but to release humanity from its chains. Boy, what does that sound like? And we all know about Hitler, the National Socialist. Um, so, but hey, nothing like this can happen here, right? This is from this article. And then he talked about the me generation, um, the obsession of victimization. Antifa, the band of hooligans, justify their own vandalism, their own assault on persons and rights for their ide ideology. Wherever they were, so too were riots. Graffiti at the University of California, Berkeley College appeared everywhere. If protests end up looking more like Krishna in 1938, then you aren't anti-fascist at all. Let's face it, most liberals are perpetually diseptic, perpetually unhappy that the world is not following their edicts. Deep down they know collectivist is a failed ideology, which makes them even more angry. So this is talking about this. And just to show that also because this will be able that we do in Isaiah this is Daesh and what it comes up translated as and this is Levant so Lamed He Dalit and then this would be the Dalit Aleph Shen and look what it means is you Muslims who believe it better separates okay so one who crushes or tramples down something underfoot and can be loosely translated as one who sows discord. And of course, Fatah and Hamas means conquest. So, I mean, if you just look at the names, it, it means something. So, these are some ideas why liberals are so violent. And then, this is where it gets really interesting. People doesn't they don't seem to understand why things are happening the way they do because again Jehovah could delivered Israel in an instant but he was trying to get the Egyptians to repent and of their witchcraft I mean of the all these things they were showing himself strong 
and this article is absolutely outstanding and because again you have truth and they love not the truth so to be inspired by a god a little one and it explicitly forbids the practice of this and this is the this is the difference between obama and trump okay and this is what this article is bringing out Politicians who believe that man can control all aspects of the world are coming from a belief system based in Satanism, whether knowingly or not. This new age form of witchcraft and divination is idolatry dressed up so it can be used as the tool of the new world order. If you want to be a secular atheist, if you say that you went to a church or synagogue and rejected it, that's okay. But to go to something that is straight up idolatry, openly embracing evil, that is not a logical decision. Anytime people act illogically and don't notice it, it is a sign of divine hands are setting the stage, explaining this is all part of a messianic endgame. And this is a big, huge cosmic chess match. According to Jewish sources, the end of days will see an enormous polarization of good and evil. See this polar shift, right? Well, this, we're in the middle of it. It's because this concept of good versus evil. And this is how clearly true in America politics this has played out in recent years. Obama was the first step of this polarization. But he was able to hide most of the polarization and dress it up as social justice. He could hide the evil he promoted and make it sound like good. So people who supported him could support evil, but give the excuse that it was reasonably presented as good. To accomplish that, they need to be masters of disguise, to hide the truth even from themselves. They need to embrace Hollywood, which looked at Hollywood, I mean, it's a tree, right? They need for it to be all about appearances and subjective reality because the truth is too painful. Trump is, Trump is one step further. There is no hiding. You either love him or hate him. And he doesn't know how to hide the truth in pretty words. Good and evil are laid out for everyone to see. You'll be, there, there will be no excuse for what may be known about God saying to them. Because... Elohim has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, Jehovah's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from his workmanship, so that men are without excuse. There will be no excuse because there's no middle ground anymore. However, from the beginning of creation, Jehovah made them, or Elohim made them, male and female. That's it. There's no middle ground. It's male or female. To whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear? Behold, their ear is dull, and they cannot attend. Behold, the word of Jehovah is become unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. In Revelation 21.8, they did not turn away from committing murder, practicing witchcraft, witchcraft sinning sexually, or stealing. Not only sinning, but that's worshiping idols also. That's all mixed together. These two things will overtake you in a moment in a single day. The loss of children and widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure in spite of your many sorceries and the potency of your spells. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of Elohim? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, adulterers nor men who submit to or perform sexual homosexual acts. For the sexually immoral, for homosexual, for slave traders, this is First Timothy 1.10, you who are selling children and women and men, slave traders, you will not inherit the kingdom of Elohim unless you repent. There's still repentance. There's still time to repent and to shuva, turn away from these things. And for anyone else who is adverse to sound teaching, they profess to know God, but they deny Him by their actions. They are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for any good deed. 
Trump. I'm dedicated to the protecting the lives of every American, including the unborn. And there's no middle ground. And for the Republicans, this woman vows to vote against any Supreme Court nominee hostile to abortion. Murderers. And those who support them. And this senator wants a pro-abortion nominee like Justice Kennedy. True colors. There's no middle ground. There's no hiding how you're going to be. You will stand before Jehovah and give an account. People don't like the package that he's picked to bring through these things. And they, they whine and they complain and they groan against this. And, and he's going to give you exactly what you want. And he changed the times and season. Who does this? Jehovah removes kings and set up, sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. The king of queens dethroned. King of queens and that to first the major one for anti-establishment left. This isn't just about it. Everybody is going to have to make a decision. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth in him. Nothing in all creation is hidden from Elohim's sight. Everything is uncovered and exposed before the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. I form light. I create darkness. I bring prosperity and create calamity. I, Jehovah, do all these things. You can blame whatever you want, but he is in charge of all these things, and he's wanting all not willing that any perish, but all come to repentance. Can a man, man hide in secret places where I cannot see him? Declares Jehovah. Do I not fill the heavens and the earth? Declares Jehovah. He reveals the deep things of darkness and brings deep shadows to light. Sheol is naked before him and Abaddon has no covering. Stand in awe, my son. Give counsel and do not mingle with fools. My son, fear Jehovah and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 10.2 A wise man's mind tends toward the right hand, and a fool's toward the left. Choose this day whom you will serve. There's no more middle ground. He's revealing everything, everybody's positions. Fear Jehovah and serve him with integrity and faithfulness. Get rid of the gods your ancestors served on the other side of the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve only Jehovah. But if you do not want to serve Jehovah, then choose today whom you will serve. Even if you choose the gods your ancestors served on the other side of the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live, my family and I will still serve Jehovah. Sons of thunder is time to rise. And here the eyes are the windows to the soul. And this is what she stands on. Okay. Talks about this is the start of a movement. The image is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Socialist. Democratic socialist. Democratic Socialist of America, but her friends call her Sandy. Do you understand? Barry, the man. Barack Obama, the image. Jorge Berglio, the man. Pope Francis, the image. You have the image of this. Do you really believe that <laughs> this just out of the blue happened? No. Mm -mm. Sandy? Has been working on this for a long time. So I don't think I was uh, born yesterday. Well, while the political world is in shock, those of us who know Sandy best are beaming with pride. He's keen over all the children of pride. Is What does the scripture say? Look at the scripture. And then Crowley, he's a guitarist strung born to run. Get this. Their feet run to evil. They are swift to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are sinful thoughts. Ruin and destruction lie in their wake. And all you have to do is 
look at the pictures. It's a pictograph. The picture says a thousand words, right? Looks to dethrone Joseph Crowley, the king of queens. Corporate free political revolution. What? Yes. I mean, it's right there, plain as day. Look who's supporting her. Having dinner with Muslims for progress. Lovely to sit down, break bread, and share some thoughts with Muslims for progress in Queens. So who's Sandy? This is from her family member, T.T. Sandy. And you can look that up and see what that means. She's late lunch. High, eyes high, tongues false, and hands shedding innocent blood. A false witness who gives false testimony and one who stirs up discord among brothers. A false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in community. This is Proverbs chapter 6. And then, of course, when they go high, when they go low, we go high. And then what was it today? Climbing the, the ISIS statue. And the lady said it's the highest place she can go. And here's all the, some of the links. And again, what does uh, Daesh mean? It's right there. Can be loosely translated as one who sows discord. Is right there. It's an abomination. One who sows discord among the brethren, abomination. Hands that shed innocent blood, abomination. Do you not understand this? But here we go. Revelation demands participation. This is uh, something that Lou Engle had said. The earth trembled and quaked and the foundations of the mountain shook. They trembled because he was angry. And we've had, what, four earthquakes in northern Israel in the Galilee, Sea of Galilee? Um... Look at the pattern repeating. Predicted that these earthquakes quakes will serve several purposes. Pagan temples and monuments to foreign gods throughout Israel will be destroyed. He's coming and to judge this. And you can look through the sons of thunder for them to arise. Arise. Wake up. The voice of Jehovah is upon the waters. The Elohim of glory thundereth. Jehovah is upon many waters. The voice of Jehovah is full of majesty. The voice of Jehovah breaketh the cedars. Yea, Jehovah breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. It's beautiful poetry. So, this is part of that. And now I want to get to the table that we've been putting together. Isaiah 17:8. In Isaiah 19:20, at the skip of 94, and this only came up one time in the entire Tanakh. So you have democratic as the access term, right here. You have mutiny or revolt, plain as day here. You can look at that. Joe, <laughs> Joe, and King, Queen. I mean, it's right there in this table, what's happening right now. District, I believe she's from District 14. County, District, and then you have Barack right here. Sparkle, glare, shyness, lightning. Okay, right up against the access term with locust and army. Majority. Which that is what um, Boklachev or B the um, Boklachev revolution, the majority, czar. So I looked up czar to see if that was in here, this time frame we're in. So we were here, we have the word, um, that would be, Lev I see, Daesh right here. It means whitewash, purge, cleanse, chasten, decontaminate. Um, Levant it means boast or bragging. We have Poland in here and what's going on in Poland. We have Pagan, which is, see I think it moved over some. Pagan over here. 
pagans over here. So, oh, pagans right here. Um, pandemonium right here. Hiding. Implementation. Iranian. Ishmarai. And I think that is, is similar to Ishmael. I, I think... I'm not really sure. I looked that up earlier and I can't remember what it was because it's been a long day. So, and then I wanted to show you what else came up here. We'll go through this. Okay, we have Babylonian. We'll put it over here so you can see Babylonian. 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 It's right here, vertical. Brussels. He's meeting with Putin. Brussels. I have abomination. We've been talking about that. It's right there in scripture what this stuff is. Egypt. 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 Egypt all over this table at a skip of 94 Egypt Egypt I thought this was really interesting you don't believe it right here left-handed <laughs> democratic left it's right there right in front of your face but will anybody believe it? Because it's not like they thought it would be. And here's the word pagan over here. There's where that is. Right here. It's hiding in plain sight. Financed. I, I mean, all this came in for this table. And, and, you know, don't believe that it's just, oh, it just happened. No, it didn't. This has been planned. So, again... This revolution, and they're, this is what they have, and this is what they want, and they're going to have a king over them. But guess what? Jehovah is coming. Love is coming down. Sons of thunder is awakening. And he is going to return and judge the world. Be ready. Repent. Keep looking up. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. They know the time is short. Learn the parable of the fig tree. We don't have long to go. And why would they try to wear out the saints unless they knew somebody was coming? <laughs> um, I hope this blesses. Keep looking up. 